In a lot of the assignments, we're going to be saving images out as JPEG. And uh, when you have an image open, especially something like a, this is a Photoshop document that you can see here. Um, when you go to File, Save As, you're going to get a little dialog box. When you choose JPEG, say Save, you're going to get a dialog box that tells you, uh, asks you for the options. And a lot of people don't know what to put in there. I mean, it goes from 12 to 0. And, you know, some people just, they, they're not sure where to set the slider. Uh, don't know what to do with these buttons down here. Well, for the, for the things in this class, for sure. And for most times, this baseline standard format option is your best. Now, the, the quality slider, uh, there's a couple of rules of thumb. Uh, a quality level of 10 is considered photographic quality. There is a maximum of 12, but it's just there's no discernible difference between 10 and 12 when you print a photograph on photographic paper. So for the size difference, uh, a 10 is plenty. Uh, when we do things for the web, we do things at uh, 8 and seven, sometimes six, still in that medium range. And then when you get down to four uh, and lower, you're in the low range and things start to look different. So I, I wanted to just quickly show you a little bit of the difference. I'm going to shut that. Here's an image that I took in Seattle years ago that uh, I want to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like at different resolutions. Well, different pixel quality when you save at different levels of JPEG compression because a JPEG is just a compression algorithm that uh, allows images to be saved smaller. So if we look at this, uh, this is a level, I'm going to open up my layers here. This is the, this is the level 10 JPEG. Now, I want to, I'm going to click through here and show you the different levels of compression and you're not going to see much change. Here's a 10. Here's a 5. Here is a 1. And the video quality is going to determine whether you see much change or not. Uh, but there's not a lot of discernible difference when you're just viewing things at about 100% on the screen. But as far as image size, if we look at the level 10 JPEG, when you save it, it's 408 kilobytes, which is about a half a megabyte, which takes a little bit of time to download if you're on a phone or a slow connection. But if we can save it as a level 5 JPEG, we cut that down to just 166. So from 400 to 166, that's about half, or a little less than half. And then if we go down to all the way to a level one, we cut it down to 88, which is about half again. So uh, images that are low resolution or sorry, low JPEG quality, but high compression are able to be downloaded much quicker. So they, they show up faster on your phone. They show up faster on social media. Uh, if you've ever gone to a web page and had things load really slowly that you got so tired you just went on, you don't want that to happen when you're creating uh, ads and things for Facebook, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, whatever for your client. So, uh, but let's let's just take a look. If we zoom in here, I'm going to zoom in real close on because that sticker on her face that it says it's kind of hard to read, but I can see pirates there. We can still see some detail, even though this is a pretty small pixel count. It's only about 900 pixels wide, which would be about like a, a Facebook banner cover, something like that. Uh, so let's uh, let's go down and see what it looks like at a level five. It didn't look much different when you were looking at it 100 percent. Here we're looking at it at 590 percent. We'll even click. One more. We'll go up here at about 700%. So now you're starting to see the individual pixels. But you can still read pirates uh, here. So 
I'm going to show you at a level 5 compression. To lose half the size, you lose that much quality. Okay? I don't know if you can tell much with the video. Hopefully, there's uh, uh, some pixelation, more pixelation, the thing called JPEG artifacting. Uh, it's digital noise that happens. Now, you should be able to see quite a bit of difference when we go down to a JPEG level 1. You start to see these things where the, the things are uh, coming into squares, big clumps of pixels that are of similar color. So uh, the difference between a level 10 and a level 1. Huge amount of difference. So just be careful how you save and the options that you choose depending on what you want to use that image for. If it's for photographic quality, it needs to be level 10. If it's for the web, you can choose a quality from 1 to 8 or 9, uh, depending on what it's going to look like when you see it on your screen.